So we almost, we need to, we need to clear this out soon. How much longer, is, is there a way to tell nominal two per hour? I don't think there is a way to tell how long it's gonna take to clear this out, but if we don't clear this out soon, the child in there's gonna die and it's gonna dramatically reduce uh, the happiness of our, our people. It's gonna be lame. We, we don't wanna dramatically reduce the happiness of our people, chat. That would be bad. Nice thing is all of our houses are very uh, well insulated. So let's go ahead and make some actual more houses uh, in areas we've cleared out inside of our heated zones. Like right here, for example. Dude, why is this overlapping? This is one, and this is one. So that is overlapping slightly. I don't know. How, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I, I like that. It seems like a pretty inefficient use of space. Let's try and turn this down and see what happens. Actually, that's pretty optimal. I, th I think we do want that. That's only not overlapping with one area. Yeah, that's good. I, I think I think we'll go for that. And let's build some houses real quick. Can fit there, and that is inside the zone. So let's do that. Boom and boom. Let's go ahead and build roads. Cross. Ah! Stop it! We're almost out of wood, chat. Actually, at some point, I think we are gonna want to build a uh, a wood mill right here. I missed you, he says. You missed me, Macax, Macax. Welcome in. It's good to see you. And Meepers, hello, my friend. It's good to see you as well. How are you today? Welcome in, everybody. Whoa, knives. Whoa, knives, indeed. Meepers, I didn't see you. I was so concentrated. Green McNugget as well. It's good to see you. How are you all doing, guys and gals? You should go. The raid did go through, Meepers. I'm sorry. It was just so, so concentrated that I missed it. Uh, guys, go follow Meepers. He is a friend, a delightfully good streamer, and on top of that, just so happens to be a very skilled gamer and a lot of different stuff. What were you playing today, my man? What were you doing for your stream? Keepers, keepers the Meepers. No, Meepers the Keepers? Both. And welcome in, everybody. It's good to see you all. Uh, I hope you're all having a delightful evening, I guess, for most of you, though maybe morning, afternoon. <laughs> that is my husbando. Wait, Meepers is? Okay, good. I haven't seen you in a bit. Figured I'd toss some love your way, dude. Absolutely, my man. I've had a busy last couple of weeks. So it's been uh, it's been quite the ride. How have you been, my man? Been swapped over to WoW. Played some Pommel Party. Actually, I saw you doing that. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to stop in, but when I was looking at the directory right before I went live, I did see Pommel Party. What happens to be that game? Guys and gals, if you are new here, Welcome in, first of all, and uh, second of all, we are a variety stream. We play all kinds of stuff, uh, but lately, we're playing a lot of Padded of Exile. We just checked out the new expansion to this. Um, we have Soulsborne Sunday tomorrow, and we just finished up our Platinum of Spider-Man, and we're finishing up Tomb Raider as well. <laughs> you can't have everyone Maka. Are you sure about that? I feel like... I feel like knives can have as many people as a knife will, uh, will allow. <laughs> Support him, but if you follow him in real life, mm, interesting. It was so funny. So, what kind of game is it? It's like Mario Party clone. Ooh, I am a fan of Mario Party. I really am. Oh, your stream's more nice. <laughs> it's just been busy with school and stuff. Yeah, everyone's uh, everyone's starting by school. I actually changed up the orientation of my notifications thing on the right, and it is confusing me. Which is also the other reason me didn't see your raid. So, thank you for it, dude. I really appreciate it. And I hope. Uh, Home party was good. Were you playing with chatters? Were you playing with friends? All right, we have arrived in the steel bridge, which is fantastic. Which essentially means that we got an automaton if it can get back to the city in time. So we're gonna send it back immediately. We don't give a shit about this bridge. Um, let's go. Let's go to. The, I think we're gonna go to the iron deposit this time. We didn't go there last time. And yeah, it's on the way. It's gonna take one day and fifteen hours. So as long as you don't die or get exiled in that time, we should be good. We, we should be good. He's a player. Knives is a player. I mean, if you got a weapon, and you use it, it's uh, seemingly pretty easy to be a player. Mr. Streamer Man, are you going to school for anything right now? I am not. I just graduated at the beginning of this year uh, with a degree in anthropology and chemistry, and uh, I plan in the next year and a half to go to law school. Are you, individual maca person chatter? going to uh, school for anything right now. I assume you are since you said school, but what are you going to school for? Double major or minor? I got the minor in chemistry and I got the major in anthropology. Good question, actually. I should have said that. 
minor in uh, chemistry. Says Anthony, when Kim but it was really anti-troll and dad jokes. That's true. Anti-troll and uh, mediocre dad jokes. I'm in for biomed. Very nice. That's actually what I actually I started out as an engineer, and then I decided I want to go to med school. Uh, and instead of going to biomed, I went to anthropology because I thought it would look cooler. And then I decided I didn't did not want to go on that grind because med school is a crazy grind. Uh, from everyone I've talked to, but good luck to you. That's awesome. So you're in biomed, and you want to go to med, I assume, right? Do you have any ideas of what you want to do in med school? I went for hand troll. That's right, Jasper. He actually got a sword with his degree. You're in the schools that still let people graduate with pseudo degrees. Still, uh, you can always try for your master's in art history. Um, hmm, I don't know about that. Simply dumb. At least when they get a degree in like sociology or something that that is literally just a side topic of anthropology, you know? <laughs> Art history feels good. I went to school and roasted everyone and then got expelled. Exactly. And the fact that you literally are a living knife could be a tad problematic as well. <laughs> My field of interest. <laughs> Art history. <laughs> nice knives. Uh, by the way, for those that may be interested or doing anything with sociology, I merely roasted it at the expense of simply no. Not at the expense of uh, the general populace. I have a mild respect for simply for, uh, for sociology. <laughs> they are just the enemies of uh, of anthropologists. And it was so broad. Yes, it is mock. I specialized in uh, physical anthropology and specifically health systems and uh, human anatomy, which was the idea because I wanted to go to med school uh, before I decided I didn't want to. So, yeah, you definitely have to focus in. It's, it's very broad, but it's fascinating stuff. It really is. Um, I really enjoyed my degree. I can't really use my degree much, but I really enjoyed it. And when I get a law degree or whatever I end up doing, uh, it will help me eventually. What changed your main mind about med school? Uh, the Two things. One, I read some anthropological studies about med school and about how it's essentially a giant hazing ritual to dissociate your empath empathetic mind from... The idea of human suffering, which is fine. You, that's what you need uh, often to do to become a doctor. Um, and then also, it sucks. Med school sucks. It is just six to ten years of grind, uh, which I don't know if I want to do. The internet anthem got bombarded by topics. Absolutely. I uh, look like uh, pediatrics personally, though. I'm looking into pediatrics personally, though. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Actually, I, if I had gone to med school, Maka, that's probably what I would have done as well. So it feels good. Enjoy, and good luck to you, seriously. Really good luck to you. All right. Actually, everything's going surprisingly well. We, we're having some problems with our hope right now, as we always do, but they're not threatening to kick us out, which is really the main the main thing. Really research it uh, is the way to go if you want to truly help people, maybe. It's true. Or maybe if you want to kill rats in a lab for a long time. Right, Jasper? Yes? Maybe? Alright, we need, we need to speed things up, and we need to get a better way of increasing hope. Um, also, we need to have more food. We're, we're running out of food slowly, and we have a lot of sick people. So as soon as we get enough wood, I believe we are going to make some more medical facilities, and as soon as we get the night watch in, I think we're going to assign some amputation laws so we can start curing those that are gravely ill and not just have them die. 17 of the 30 ruins uh, depleted, which is great, which means we can start throwing some more people into these hunter's huts so we can get more food in general. Um, yeah, that should be about it. Well, Meepers, sorry I haven't seen you around as much of a man. I uh, do wish I could stop by more often, but, you know, life, streams, and the pursuit of happiness, all that. Uh, <laughs> I did stop by a bit ago, though I really don't remember how long it was, but for some wowing. And wow, was that overwhelming. I feel like I will never be able to get into World of Warcraft. Research is cool, but so it's uh, but so is innovation. Do you don't you need to innovate to be good at research? You can just see what medicine goes to. Oh my god, Maki, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, there are some really, really interesting things going on in the field of medicine. In a lot of fields to be honest, but especially medicine. Uh, specifically, I believe Jasper is working on stem cell research in his research, which is going to be amazingly applicable uh, 
in medicine in the near future. Alright, we're at 20 of 30. We're getting really close to this. The main kind of blockade for the success of the city is these ruins. We need to get rid of the next 10 pretty as fast as we can, because if we don't, um, our generator is going to remain broken, which is a huge bummer. Sorry to keep you so busy, by the way. You gotta keep your people alive. Oh, no, no, no. We don't really gotta keep these people alive. Uh, there's some people in chat that are even in here. You know, if they die, that's just that's just life. Look, there's Ravenog right there. Actually, I think Knives needs a new position. A new position in a place that he would likely die, yes? Let's, let's throw Knives in the coal mines, chat. You and Black Sun can work together. Hmm. Nicholas Thorn, that looks like a... Like a, a good. CRISPR opened up so much. Yes, it did. It's been. It's, I have actually not been following CRISPR specifically the last couple of years, but I read a bunch of studies on it when I was in college. Um, so two years ago, and it was looking crazy even back then. Uh, I'm doing well. I hope. Yes, you are, Evan. Like you were saving lives one by one in that med in that medical facility. Uh, okay, here we go. HLZ. Knives. Night. Wait. It's nice. What are the numbers at the minute? Six, six, six. I don't know how I forgot that. What the hell? Boom. Beautiful. Easy. Uh, it's still hard to use? Yeah, but that's where innovation comes in. It's gotta get better and better. Good to hear. Double ration for kids. I, the, I don't know if we have enough food to actually sustain this. Uh, in the wake of recent child worker accident, someone got their leg cut off or something, because we're working 10-year-olds in factories, uh, the parents argue that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. Mmm. So the problem is, I would like to do this. It, this will raise hope, which is really important for us. But the problem is, I don't know if we have enough food to sustain this. I think, though, if even if a couple people go hungry, we'll be able to get the workforce into a uh, position to have more food being produced in time. Uh, possibly. It's gonna be kind of a struggle. It's... We got we gotta raise our hope more. We gotta do something else. I... I think we may go ahead, since we do have some spare workers, and build one more... Medical outpost and one more hunter's hut. And then we're gonna go get some upgrades on the hunter's huts to make them more efficient and produce more food, I think. Gotta keep the city alive. That's... That's me, Maka. That is me. Not the workers who are braving the cold and the, um, <laughs> the death-inducing frostbite uh, to make the city function. It's me, the one who's telling them what to do. I'm the one who's keeping the city alive. All right, so soon we'll have another prayer up as well. And no, Mog, by the way, you're completely okay. I honestly would prefer to chat extensively and play a game partially than I would to uh, play a game intently and not chat at all. It's more fun that way, right? All right, some mild efficiency problems. I, I really would like, what, what are we researching right now? I would really like to, yeah, get our steel coal mine and automaton in place. So then we can kind of stop worrying about coal too, too much. It's fun hanging out in here. Yes, it is in here, I agree. Okay. So we're at the iron deposit. I want to see what we get here. I, I don't know. It's been a long time. I, I'm assuming we're going to get a shit ton of steel if I move my freaking face. Uh, but let's look. Let's look. Explore. Unreachable riches. Well, goddamn, that's not good. The iron deposit is rich and easily accessible. We'd have to be able, we have been able to exploit it if we left the automaton on the bridge. Okay, so I, that kind of makes sense. We sacrificed this resource uh, of iron in order to get um, a, a free automaton, essentially which I think is, is a, a good sacrifice. Uh, that, and, and the fact that we can easily make our own steel mine that generates a lot of steel in, in the place we're currently at, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really worry me too much. Snow Dune. Uh, so we should have got, yeah, we did get 174 iron anyway, but we just don't have any continual, uh, renewable source from this location. But I think it would be take them two days to travel anyway, which would be too long, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and go to the snow dune and check this out. Yeah, not bad. This is being constructed, which is good. And our hope is slowly rising, which is really good. We're actually cl we're closing in on having enough uh, ruins depleted, which gives us more workers as well. We'll need to be we need to save 15 people to work in here, but besides that, 
Uh, we should be in pretty good shape. Let's check out where I've been working. I cannot believe we haven't cleared this place out yet. I think it's because everyone's freaking sick. Because the place is literally <laughs> probably like negative 20 degrees Celsius. But we should be pretty close, I feel. Uh, we need to save the damn kid. If we don't save the damn kid, um, things are going to become problematic. Unsick them, Maki! You can't look at me to unsick them. We need to have the doctors, Ravenok, Loki. I, no, Knives is not a doctor. They must unsick them. I, I, I can't do such things. I'm but a humble emperor, and it's possibly God. All right, let's, let's, let, let's actually go ahead and put one more medical post in uh, so we can add some more engineers into the pursuit of unsicking, as some would say. It can go into heat its own in the work area. I would like to put it in more of a medical district, but still, that's okay. You think with it being so cold that people wouldn't be getting sick? Well, the main sickness is going around our frostbite and the need for limb amputations. Like that, mild frostbite, a citizen became gravely ill. Speak of the, <laughs> speak of the devil. Uh, the good thing is that's only one citizen. Oh, two, god damn it, two citizens. Oh, they're working in, yeah, they're working in the, literal, the only cold place. I work best under pressure. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. Uh, they're also getting sick from, like, injuries, like in the factory getting shit dropped on their faces, and then also mild illnesses since we don't have, like, a lot of ways to treat that, and since the working conditions are not great uh, for... Like, inha inhalation of fumes from the coal mine, stuff like that. Consider so the radical treatments uh, to or sustain life fall. See, here's the problem. I, I, I would want to do this to prevent them from dying. Actually, I think we have to do this. Uh, I'm going to say as soon as we get the chance, in 15 hours, we're going to sign this. Because um, our hope is looking decent. And that allow us to stop having people to die. And when people die, it brings the hope down, like, really significantly. It's, like, the main reason we've lost the two last um, episodes, so... Or the last, last two scenarios. Uh, is that so many people died that we just didn't have the option uh, to have enough hope to survive. If this goes back below 15%, uh, it's going to be really problematic. If we can raise hope to, to 50% in the next seven days, that's going to be... That's going to be challenging. Alright, let's see if we can run another prayer. Almost. It, the problem is it's a two-day cooldown, which is a lot. A lot of days, Chad. No people hungry yet, which is really good. No, you know what we might do? We might actually build another church. I think we are, because this will up generally the amount of uh, hope they have for areas, and since there's a lot of people living over in this section, I think this could be really good. Problem is, I'd like to put it right here. Is that... Oh, that's a tent. How many... Is there anywhere where it doesn't have anyone living in it? Oh, did we destroy this ship? Are we build two houses out here? Yes. Boom, and boom. Which means, my guess is, there's no one living in this tent. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's get rid of that thing. No one wants to be living there. And then let's let's go and bump that away as well. This one. And they'll go live somewhere else. I hope. Uh, and then we can put the church right in the middle of this residen residential district. Uh, and increase their health a lot. You are best under pressure. You better. Because people are dying, Ravenock. People are dying, my man. Oh god, okay, so our coal production is kind of slowing down. The good thing is, as soon as, boom, actually literally right now we have a steam coal mine researched, uh, we're going to be able to build one of these, and that's going to, as soon as it gets finished building, of course, of our efficiency, I think it like over doubles the amount of coal we produce, and then in one day, when this automaton gets here, it'll work at like a 70% uh, efficiency, but it'll work 24 hours, so it'll uh, up again up the amount of coal we're making, which is, which is good, that's exactly what we want. Steam coal mine. Boom. Plop that down right there. We only need 32 steel and 6 wood. I think that's because of there was one being built here already, maybe. We do need to use one more steam core, which is a valuable resource. You got it, Chisholm! What did you get, my friend? Okay, I'm going to take a guess, Chisholm, and I'm, the guess is going to be you got the one 100% in the new Assassin's Creed game. Now, if I'm wrong about that, please correct me. And if I'm right about that, tell me how, how it works. Tell me how you got it. Was it grindy? Was it problematic? Oh, we need some more wood here. Uh, I believe we are producing a decent amount of wood. So we should be able to just fill these areas out. Stockpile, we don't care about that. Boom. Like that. 
all these. We just need to, we need to get rid of all this shit. And this will give us a lot of wood, because they're just gonna be essentially just gathering directly from wooden stockpiles. Gotta have the children working too, of course! That'd be ridiculous not to. Shadow of the Tomb Raider! Oh, hell yeah, dude! Nice! Enjoy! We are very close, I believe, to the end of that game, and it has been, it's been good so far. Again, I've said this many times, it's another Tomb Raider, but, uh, it's, you know, Tomb Raider's good. I like Tomb Raider, so... It's, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Enjoy it, my man. It's also expansive. There is a lot of just side content in that game. Uh, which was a little bit of a surprise to me, to be honest. Uh, okay, so... Our right, discontent is almost to zero. Let's go ahead and run some more houses. Uh, actually, wait a second. Oh, is that already cleared? Holy shit, that was fast. They tore that thing down so fast. Apparently they don't like their tents. Imagine that. Let's see, this is... This is a wooden ruins. Bunkhouse, bunkhouse. Uh, wooden ruins... Bunkhouse, bunkhouse, tent, 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 tent. Okay, I think I think that this church will do this entire district. Uh, it's, we're gonna be missing one up the top. Is this also a tent? It's a wooden ruin. This is also a wooden ruin. Damn. Okay. But it, it, this should be good, and we can build some more things in here anyway. We'll, we'll go and do that. But the early Tomb Raider games, I have not, Maka. I uh, <laughs> I have played the most recent the most recent trilogy. I actually enjoy doing franchise playthroughs on the stream. I do like a lot of if I play a new game, I like to if I haven't played the old games, I like to play the um the older games. Um but the older games on PC1 looked poorly optimized and two just I don't know, I felt like we didn't have enough time to do like all 20 of the older games. We decided to just stick to the most recent Tomb Raiders. Uh kind of like we're doing with Red Dead here pretty soon. Oh, Hunter's thing. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Triangle bust. I'm at the tsunami. Oh, God, Jizzle. Don't die, my man. The, the, the tsunami you caused, of course. Oh, we need to add some more research in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's right. We need to add the difference engine. We want to get this reg this next level so we can get improved efficiency, improved everything, really. Boom. Perfect. I don't get a Windows Den because I'm afraid compatibility will be a hassle. Compatibility on what? The old Tomb Raider games? On everything, I've enjoyed Windows 10, but yeah, again, I I have had compatibility issues in it sometimes. Partially because I play just an insane amount of games, but uh, as often as also, especially when I do go back to older games, I love oldies. Hell yeah, that's awesome. I enjoy oldies, but I do have a tendency to get frustrated with game mechanics. Uh, I I will admit, we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be playing Resident Evil 4 for the first time this Halloween, which will be a lot of fun, and a couple older horror games, which I'm really excited for, but also. A little bit worried about some of that stuff. Although Resident Evil 4 has a remaster, so it's not that big of a deal. Alright, let's go ahead and throw, I think, another bunk as well. Or sorry, another house right in here. Hey, what the hell? Oh, I don't have enough wood. Which wood do we need? Jesus Christ. Night is coming. Put down so close to be able to use that again. We're gonna get a massive prayer and sermon buff when we get the chance to do this, which is gonna be good. What, uh, what kind of oldies specifically do you enjoy, Maka? Oh, that's another series of oldies we're gonna be playing, probably in December. Oh, two actually. We're gonna be doing the whole Devil May Cry series, because I'm, I'm interested in the new Devil May Cry game. And we're gonna be doing uh, both Darksiders game, probably next month or early November, because both of those look fantastic, and I'm excited about the new Darksiders, so give me a good time. LOL, too much to list yet, dude. That uh, absolutely makes sense. I, I know the feeling, dude. I know the feeling. All right, let's leave these wooden ruins. I, I don't, we don't care about that. Oh, wait a second. We've gotten 30 of 30. That's amazing. We are in business chat. All right, let's go and build another. Actually, no. Nah, okay, let's, let's see what this is. Evening prayers united by faith, chat, sir. We're holding an evening of prayers this afternoon. The opiate of the masses. Plenty of people are here, they're praying, but also talking and laughing. I haven't seen anything this heartening for our, in our city for a long, long time. It really has brought the community together. Feels like I'm controlling everybody, man. <laughs> We're winning, Chad! We're winning through... Good. At least it's better than fascism, right? I think. Uh, okay. So, how, how close are now? We're not there. But on my head is a lot of old RTS games, like Empire Earth, Age of Mythology, CNC, stuff like that. Very cool. Interesting. I have played almost none of those. The CNC, I assume stands for Command and Conquer, I've seen an okay amount of gameplay for. 
That's, that's one thing that I always feel a bit uh, sad about is my back history of games that I've played is woefully lacking. Um, which is partially why I enjoy so much doing franchise playthroughs on the channel, because I get the chance to experience a lot of older games. I like old games too, hell yeah, that's awesome. Age of Empires, feels good. Medical Post, very nice. Yeah, let's, let's just... What? Too cold, this building must be at least chilly inside. Wait, what? Do these operate 24? They do! Oh, god damn it, we shouldn't have built this thing here. That's actually really bad, that was a mistake on my part. Huh. So there's two options here we could... We're, we're having problems with cold storage right now. But I think we gotta just turn this to 24 hours. Yeah, let's see. If this doesn't hit this, I'm gonna be a bit frustrated. But it should. Oh my god, it doesn't! Are you kidding me, dude? Wow, okay, that is the worst positioning it could possibly be. Okay, so let's go ahead and just destroy this one. We, get, we, can't, we can't have that in place. Uh, and then let's throw this medical facility somewhere where it will actually work. Honestly, we should have done this in the first place, but when we first built this medical facility... Um, where is this? Health? Yeah, there it is. There, is, there were ruins right here uh, that we were still taking down, so we couldn't build it next to our other ones, but we, we're going to do this right here. No one ever play No One Lives Forever or the original AVP. By the way, man, man Bone, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. I have not mocked up. Look at that disc dent. That is so satisfying. Though, uh, we only have... Oh, we actually have, still have seven days left, so we're, we're doing okay. Alien versus Predator. That would make sense, and I have not played that. Although I do like horror games, and we are doing a horror week. So if it's cheap on Steam, I might pick it up if it's available. It also depends on how long the playthrough is, stuff like that. I played that, but I don't have it anymore. Ah, feels bad, man. They were being really good. Yeah, a lot of, Honestly, I wish there was more updated graphics, but in the style of retro horror game, horror games coming out, because I really like the, the idea behind those types of games. Like, I'm really excited for the new Res the Resident Evil 2 remake. I think that's gonna be awesome. I haven't played a lot of Resident Evils, but I like watching the style of games, and I really like the most recent Resident, uh, Resident Evil that I did play, so. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be very good. Scouts have reached Snow Dune. I feel like there can't be anything here, can there? A distinct spot in the Frostland. We can use... Oh, uh, yeah, so there's nothing here. Literally nothing. Because there's nothing anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Interesting. I'm so excited for Resident Evil 2. Ravenock, dude. January, February, March... I mean, it's going to be an insane, an insane beginning to next year. Metro, Sekiro... Resident Evil 2, I mean, there's gonna be so many good games coming out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really awesome. There's a free download for the Jizzle 1 game because it was CD only. Oh, for Alien vs. Better, interesting. I mean, I had to look for it. Yes, Metro Maka. We did the French, I hadn't played the Metro games either. And we played the, the, the last two Metros, I don't know, like probably four months ago. Oh my God, they were good. The new Metro looks so good. It looks so, so good. I'm so excited for it. There's nothing. Do here. Okay, so let's just keep moving. Let's just go to the storm shelter. I'm hoping we can find some like uh, steam cores or something. There are only two currently. Yes, that is true. There are only two currently, and there is one more coming out. We played through both of them and freaking loved them. They were wonderful. Uh, and the new iteration of it looks pretty cool as well. It was also cool because there was like multiple endings to it that you and like actual decision making you could make in the games. So I, I really I, I enjoyed them a lot. But yes, that was not a particularly big franchise playthrough. That's definitely true. We still have not dug this up. How the hell has the kid tra trapped in these ruins? It's been like three days in negative 40 degree weather. Although, we, it's actually great. We're gonna get a bump in temperature tomorrow. Dude, Ma Maka, that is not even a question. Hell yes. I, Witcher 3 is one of my favorite games of all time and I love the cyberpunk kind of futuristic uh, style game uh, a lot. It's one of my favorite genres along with steampunk and some other like uh, older styles. We're at a cult! What the shit? Oh, that's... Bad. Well, good thing we're getting heat tomorrow, I guess. Um... But yes, absolutely Maka. Definitely picking up Cyberpunk as well. Uh, Cyberpunk and... Well, Observer is the game most recently that I played that was even, even similar to Cyberpunk. But yeah, I really like that vibe of games in general, so yeah. 
not even a question. Okay, so let's play it here. It's gonna take a while. It doesn't matter, we're out of coal. We're having zero coal production right now because it is at night. We don't have the overdrive shifts or the, the night shifts on. And we're gonna be, it's gonna be in the cold for a lot. So we're gonna get a lot of people sick right here. Like a lot of people. It's gonna be real bad. Uh, looks like it'll be fun. An FPS version of Alien Swarm, if you're familiar. I am not familiar with the Alien Swarm. Uh, but I have seen GTFO, and it does look pretty cool. Though it looks mostly, it's it's only co-op, right? So that's that's the one downside for me. I don't play a lot of co-op games, but I would be at least interested. At least interested in uh, looking at it when it comes out. Red Dead is probably the most, the more recent uh, expansive game. I never actually played Red Dead 1, so in the next couple weeks, we'll probably be starting Red Dead 1, as soon as some free time comes up with all the games we're currently playing. And then we get to play Red Dead 2 next, next month. It'll be interesting. All right, so we're gonna turn this on to one. Actually, wow, this is actually really good. It's only gonna go to the first one before we get to the second spot, which is amazing. Treat the gravely ill. One of our people is gravely ill. If you sign the radical treatment law, the gravely will be treated in medical posts, but may undergo risky amputations as a result and made a deal with the amputees. Um, alternatively, you might sign the sustained life law to keep them alive until we build infirmary. Yeah, I really, I really enjoy horror games a lot, Maka. Um,